Hey everyone, it's Chuck back again with part two of a refrigerant naming and numbering discussion. If you didn't check out video part one, you may want to jump out now and check that out. That's where I go through how we relate the chemical formulas of the refrigerants to the R numbers and vice versa. If we have an R number, how we can figure out what the chemical formula is. Uh, today I want to talk about once we have the basic uh, compounds or the basic molecules uh, to use as building blocks, how we name and number and uh, develop refrigerants after that. So we work with things like HFC 134A, HFC 32, HFO 1234YF. When we start mixing those together to make blends and we come up with an alphabet soup of products, uh, how do we make sense out of all that? And it's really a pretty simple process. When we start blending refrigerants together and they get submitted uh, through the ASHRAE Standard 34 Committee, they get assigned a name eventually as they go through that approval process. And those numbers, those blend numbers are what we call the 400 series. So there are 4, the 01, the 412, the 420, and they just are assigned sequentially. Uh, so it's been going on for a while. I think we're up in the 480s now with some of the newest refrigerants, but we still have 401, 402 uh, are still around and being used. A lot of numbers get assigned that end up never being commercial products, but they get assigned during the development and R&D phase. So for instance, let me give you an example, something uh, widely used. If we were to make a blend of three components, say HFC 32, HFC 125 and HFC 134A, that formula was assigned an R number of R 407 when the first combination of those three components was uh, presented. So it happened to be that those were put together in a composition of 20. 40, 40%, uh, 20%, 32, 40%, 125, 40%, 134A. And that got the designation 407A. Notice this is a capital A, different than the small a or the small yf we see in individual things. Important distinction. Upper case, uppercase uh, letters designate blends. These are more for the molecules. So what happens is now anytime a new refrigerant is developed and it uses these same three components, it's going to be assigned a 407 designation. So instead of saying we wanted to have a 20, 40, 40 weight percent, someone came along and I said, I think 23, 25, 52 is a better product because of the different properties. And when you or formulating these, you're trying to balance the, you know, the flammable component with a non-flammable component, a high pressure with a lower pressure, boiling points, densities, uh, pressure drop, always trying to maximize refrigerant capacity, maximize energy efficiency, minimize flammability, a temperature glide, a lot of other things when you start blending these change as you change the formula. But this 23, 25, 52 weight percent was given a 407 C designation. And then there's D, E, F, G, H, uh, ongoing. I'm not sure how high the 407 series is now, but every time it's the same three components, different combination. There are certain blends that we call azeotropes that get a 500 series designation. I don't know how well you can see that. But the azeotropes are special versions of blends. They have some very unique and valuable properties. So these get a lot of attention. And I'm going to do another video where I explain exactly the difference between a blend or a zeotropic blend and an azeotropic blend or an azeotrope. Uh, and there's a lot of other properties that come into uh, play when you start talking about the performance of these. But I just wanted to be clear on the naming and numbering system. So again, part one video covers how we get to here. And then once we start building formulas out of here, we start adding uh, sequentially to the series of uh, numbers. If it's a brand new combination of new constituents, it gets a new 400 series number. Unless it's an azeotrope, it'll get a 500 series number. 
And then if it's the same nominal components in different proportions or different composition, then it gets the A, B, C, and nomenclature. I hope that made some sense. I know there's a lot of refrigerants out there with a lot of numbers. Uh, it can be confusing. Uh, if you have any other additional questions, feel free to send me an email or get in touch with me some other way. I'd be glad to try and help you. Um, appreciate all your uh, feedback. Appreciate you checking out our videos. Certainly uh, uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any others. And if there's any topics you want to hear, give me a shout. Thanks. Have a great day.